Right, so if you have read and understood, considering that surgical pathology patient can you tell me what are your differential diagnoses that you'll consider for this patient? Yeah, my differential diagnosis will be C esophagus, uh, gastroesophageal reflux esophageal yes. stricture, yes. reflux esophagitis, echolasia, uh, esophageal spasm. What are the risk factors that convince you for these differential diagnoses? In the history of uh, in this patient. in in this patient, uh, uh, there's a uh, uh, smoke. He's a smoker, and yes. sim he has symptoms of GRD, yes. and also weight loss. Yes, and, and progressive dysphagia to food, yes. and now to even to liquid. Liquid, very good. Okay, uh, and yes, weight loss. You said all right. Can you tell me what is the normal epithelial lining of the esophagus? Whole esophagus. Esophagus uh, is lined by the uh, non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Okay. All right. So you told me the etiological factors as well. Okay. What can happen if this guard uh, that patient has or presents with the symptoms are not treated on time? What are the complications that can occur? Yes, the patient might. Uh, I develop uh, Barrett's esophagus. Yes. Which is a precursor for uh, malignancy. Yes. The patient can also develop stricture and uh, reflux esophagitis. Yes. What investigations can you carry out to confirm your diagnosis uh, for this uh, patient? Uh, for this patient, I need to go for a upper gyroscopy. With yes. uh, okay. uh, biopsy if, if required. Yes. And uh, I'll also go for endoscopic ultrasound and also a CT scan of the chest abdomen. All right. You said uh, you, if possible, you'll take the biopsy. Uh, why? How this? Uh, yes, the cells that you'll be take uh, that you'll take for the biopsy. How would you evaluate them? How would you do the analysis of them? I'll go for histopathological examination also. Yes. Uh, yes. Immunocytochemistry. immunohistochemistry. Yes. yes. And uh, if you suspect CA carcinoma, then you will do the grading and staging of the... Yes, grading, virus. staging. Yes. Can you please tell me what is the staging and grading uh, criteria that can be used? Yeah, uh, uh, we use the TNM classification. Yes. Uh, for T, T uh, first is TIS, which is high grade dysplasia. Yes. Then T1, uh, which involves uh, uh, mucosa and submucosa. T2, it involves the muscular propria. T3 involves the adventitia. T4A and B. T4A, it involves the adjacent structure, which is resectable. T4B, which is it involves adjacent structures, which is not resectable, like trachea and outer. And then N, N, N we N0, no nodal involvement. N1, yes. one, 1 to 2 regional lymph nodes, two to, uh, 3 to 6, and more than 7. And M0, no metastasis, no distant metastasis, and M1, distant metastasis right. is present. But uh, you said uh, if heard uh, is not treated uh, adequately on time, it can lead to Barrett's esophagus. Can you define Barrett's esophagus? Uh, it is a, a metaplastic uh, condition where the uh, normal uh, stratified squamous epithelium is replaced by the columnar epithelium. Okay. Of the, what are the uh, different types of uh, osophageal carcinomas that you are aware of? Uh, mainly two types. Yes. The squamous cell carcinoma and the adenocarcinoma. Yes. In which cases and, uh, do you... Uh, come across squamous cell carcinoma? Squamous cell carcinoma is mainly in the upper upper and middle part of the esophagus and adenocarcinoma, yes. usually in the distal part. 
depending upon the location or the site of carcinoma in esophagus, can you please tell me what are the management options that can be offered to a patient? Yes, ma'am. The, the management options in C esophagus, uh, it depends on stage and location yes. or site. Yes. Uh, uh, the options are operative, are adjuvant, neoadjuvant, chemo, and radiotherapy, and, and non-operative. In case of uh, uh, in case of upper and sorry, middle and distal third, we can go for transhydral or ivalus uh, esophagectomy. And in yes. case of proximal or upper part, we can go for macron esophagectomy. If it is a uh, uh, <clears throat> if it is a early stage yes. or superficial, okay. we can go for endo endo endoscopic universal resection. Yes. And uh, if it is non resectable or has involved uh, uh, other structures and also has metastatic. Uh, then we go for non-operative options like palliative therapy, like stenting and the fit yes. Would you or would you not consider the age of the patient as well when you are uh, thinking of the management? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, if it is right. a, a young age, then yes. uh, young age and resectable, then we go for surgery, operative. And if it elderly age, where he cannot, he or she cannot um, uh, undergo surgery, yes. then we go for palliation. Can you please tell me the blood supply of the esophagus? Yes, esophagus, uh, it has, the upper part is, uh, it, uh, it receives supply from the inferior thyroid artery, middle from the uh, intercostal arteries, uh, from the descending, from intercostal arteries, and lower part from the Sufficient branches of the left gastric arteries. Okay, can you tell me the lining of the esophagus? Uh, you told me the epithelial lining, but how many layers an esophagus can have? Yes, esophagus uh, from inside to out, out inside outside, to out, yes. outward. We have the uh, mucosa, submucosa, yes. uh, musculus propria, and uh, and then the uh, adventitia. Okay, so which layer is missing? In it has esophagus? no serosa. All right. Okay. What is the benefit or what are the disadvantages of that? Uh, yes, uh, the, due to the absence of uh, serosa, the uh, superficial rupture is easy and also... Uh, All right. B Barrett's esophagus can lead to what type of carcinoma? Adenocarcinoma. Okay. Can you tell me what is metaplasia? Can you define the term metaplasia? Uh, yes, metaplasia, it is a condition in which uh, uh, one, one type of adult uh, cell is replaced by another adult cell type. Okay, in case of uh, when you are taking immunohistochemistry, which stain is used? I uh, use the cytokeratin stain. Okay, right. All right. Uh, this. Uh, all right. Can you please tell me the lymphatic drainage of esophagus? Carcinoma from yes. esophagus most commonly spreads where? It can spread to the posterior mediastinal lymph nodes. Okay. And it also, it can spread to the uh, uh, cervical, the supraclavicular part of cervical lymph nodes, and yes. uh, also it can spread to the. Uh, Gastric lymph nodes, I think. Yes, it can because it's in Mediterranean, so it can. But most commonly, yes. Good. Very nice. Thank you, ma'am. Nice.